Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Angel Card reading for January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for stopping by. So Capricorn, I decided to switch it up this month. Instead of doing a messages from your spirit guides reading, I decided to do an Angel Card reading. So these will be messages from your guardian angels, archangels, just your angel team. So I may or may not uh, be continuing this uh, spiritual series they don't seem to be getting um, views, so I'd rather do what you guys enjoy, which seems to be the love readings. So you can leave me comments below. Let me know what you think. If I do continue the spiritual readings, I may switch up the theme every month and do a different theme every month. So one month it may be your uh, spirit messages, one month it may be angel messages or wisdom of the earth messages or spirit animal messages. I may do that or I may just discontinue it for now, maybe sometime in the future as the channel grows, incorporating it back in. And I've also been thinking about discontinuing the general readings as they don't seem to uh, be getting a lot of views either. So again, leave me comments, let me know what you think, and I may just do bi-weekly uh, love connection and singles readings for now. And I did start the new reading, which is the element uh, energy forecast for the week which right now isn't really getting a lot of views either, so I may discontinue that. I think I'm going to think I'm going to give it a try for a few more weeks, see how it goes, and I may discontinue that always, but I may incorporate those all back into the channel in the future once the channel uh, picks up steam and it starts to grow a little bit more. Again, let me know what you think down below in the comments. So Capricorn, I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome, welcome. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. So let's see what your angel team wants you to know at this time. I'm going to pick three um, cards from each deck and then we'll clarify each card with a tarot card to give a little more meaning. And my candle went out. Oh boy. Okay. Sorry. I just like to have all my candle candles burning so I just want to relight that and then and if you're interested in the decks I'm using they are all listed below down in the description box as well as uh, social media links um, how to reach out for personal reading your playlist all your playlists are below also links to that um, if you like to send a gift or a tip or donate all that information is below also so Capricorn 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 what messages are for Capricorn at this time. I say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So again, if you'd like to go back and watch past readings of any kind, your um, playlists are below for general and love readings. All right, I'm gonna pull three. And also over here, Capricorn, I have the angel answers. So at this time, I want you to think of a question, a concern, something on your mind you would like to ask your angel team. It can be absolutely about anything you want. And I'll pull a card at the end and see if we can get a answer or just maybe a message of guidance or advice for you on whatever you're thinking of. So, okay. Well, I think these three right here wanted to pop out, so... And then, so the decks I have here, the first one there is the Guardian Angel Oracle. The yellow one is the um, Archangel. And this one here is the Crystal Visions. And then I'll be clar clarifying there with the Tarot de la Nui deck. All right. And at the end, I'll draw you an Angel Answers into whatever you're thinking about during this reading. All right, let's see what your angel team wants you to know at this time. Capricorn. And I'll probably read from the book uh, with these. So we have friendship. So about friends here. We have Archangel Raphael coming through for you. So that may be an angel that you may want to work with or learn more about. And then we have comfort. So green here. Uh, these cards out of highlight and green, these two are under Archangel Raphael. And the red one here, um, I'm not too sure what angel that falls under. Do, 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 Uriel. So we have Raphael and Uriel. So, and then we'll get more over here. So if you like to work with angels or you're not sure 
um, which angels you should call upon. These may be a few here. So let's see. Here we have friendship. I'm just going to read from the book here. Friends are a very important part of life. To have good friends, you need to be a good friend. Give as well as receive and listen as well as think. The angel of friendship can help you to forge strong, loving friendships. Talk to the angel just as you would to a close friend and ask her to bring new friends into your life or to help your existing friendships to blossom. In addition, ask her to guide you in being a good friend to others and accept her teachings with an open heart. Call on her to help you with help you to see the good in everyone and to reach out and offer each new person your kindness, consideration, and warmth. Know that you deserve caring, friendly people in your life who treat you with love and respect. So some of you may need to work on friendships or work on being a good friend or um, making new friends or just valuing and treasuring the friendships that you do have in your life right now, however that resonates for you. So then we have Archangel Raphael. It's a little bit long because there's a lot here about Raphael. The name Raphael in Hebrew means God has healed. In Jewish and Christian tradition, Raphael was the Archangel of Healing. He was believed to have passed on the knowledge of medicinal herbs to Noah. Today, Raphael is also known as the Archangel of Consecration. I can't say that word. <laughs> and Dedication. In addition to this, he is associated with science, innovation, and intellectual capability. The Archangel of Spring, the West, and Renewal, Raphael assists with all levels of healing from individual to global, seeking truth and scientific exploration. His symbols are catechias, I can use it, a staff with serpents entwined around it, which is the traditional symbol of medicine, so you get the picture what that is, In a book signifying knowledge. He's... He, his service to the universe is to lead doctors, nurses, and other healers by radiating his loving light through them. Many of us have to contend with physical, emotional, and psychological pain in the course of our life. Working with this archangel can help with this by attracting healing energy into our being. Raphael can bring rest from pain or worry and can dispel negative influences, re-energizing us. He works on many levels, both physical and psychological. He may be able to help a persistent pain to lessen or disappear or enable us to see an emotional issue in a more positive light. Um, visualize Raphael's green light around you. Ask him to grace you with his presence. He will bring you the energies of healing and transformation. So this maybe there's some friendships that need healing and you're not sure how to do it. Not sure how to go to go about it. If that resonates for some, and maybe this archangel can help you. And then comfort here also falls under um, Archangel Raphael. So let's see. We have comfort here. In times of great pain, loss, or any other difficulty, everyone needs someone to lean on. The angel of comfort in a dependable source is a dependable source of care who will gently surround you with unconditional light and love. When you are in a particular need of comfort, find a space to sit quietly and call on the angel to soothe your worry or sadness. You may be astonished at how quickly the pain passes when you put your trust in her. If it is someone else who needs comforting, the angel encourages you to give your time and attention without hesitation. By offering this loving energy without counting the cost to yourself, you are serving humanity and will reap abundant spiritual rewards. So maybe there's some friend, a friend or something here that needs comfort and maybe you're wanting to comfort them in some way, help heal. Some, maybe they're going through something. So I'm getting different messages. Some of you may need to find comfort in friendships again by healing them. And this Archangel Raphael can help in that. Or if you know someone who's going through something and you really want to reach out and help them, comfort them, and be that friend to them, but you're not, for some reason, not sh sure how to do that. Um, this archangel can also help with that. So however that resonates for you. So let's see what we have here. We have spread your wings, Archangel Ariel now. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. So spread your wings and soar with something here, whatever that, whatever you feel like you're, you're wanting to 
accomplish, do, go after, start something new, try something new. Um, it's telling you to go for it here. And we have career, career transition, Archangel Chamuel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So some of you it could be a career change you're wanting to do and maybe you haven't done it yet. You're afraid or you're holding back. You're not sure. This is telling you to spread your wings and go for it. And it's a brilliant idea. Wow. Archangel Uriel. So we have Ariel, Chamuel, and now we have Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your ideas to your, your idea to fruition. So some of you, whatever idea you have about a career transition or a new path, it's time to spread your wings and soar, take flight. And now here we have Peridot. Life lessons. You can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. So these are crystals. So if anyone is wondering, you know, what this is, Peridot is a crystal. I'm not a crystal expert, but if you want to look up... Uh, that crystal you can do that and now we have smoky quartz clearing negativity release negativity from within or around you so you got a lot of two cards here of releasing negativity and patterns and learning the lessons in that and clearing them away okay wow cellulite own your divine power replace codependent people pleasing with assert assertiveness and empowerment so some of you, I feel, may have um, people around you that are sort of like toxic or they drain all your energy. Um, maybe you're just, you know, someone who says yes to everybody and likes to please everybody. But now it's like, you know, people are starting to take advantage of that. And it's time for you to step into your power and to stand up and say no and clear that negative energy learn the lesson in that, that, you know, it's okay to give to a certain extent, but then if you give too much, sometimes people just take advantage of that and they sometimes walk all over you and they don't really appreciate you. All right. So we're going to get, uh, one card here for each of the angel cards. So I do ask Capricorn, if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. And you'll be notified when I post um, all the readings I do. Right now, like I said, four different readings a month. I do um, a love connection. I do a singles. I do a general. And I do a spiritual. And I do a weekly element. But I uh, may cut back. I'm not sure yet. But if you want to check out the channel and you like what you see, please feel free to um, subscribe and hit the bell. You won't miss. And if you do... Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody who supported me in the channel, all my new subscribers, those who have tipped or donated, reached out for personal reading, um, sent a gift. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys. And your support really does mean a lot to me and being a part of the channel's growth. So thank you so much. All right, I'll go over the bottom of the deck too. So, okay. So here we have friendship. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is... Um, Taking action. So this is telling you to take action. You may have to take a slow, practical approach. Uh, the pentacles is a very kind of slow-moving night. Sometimes he barely moves, but it's stable. It's grounded. It's secure. It's safe. It's something you can trust in. It's for the long term. So if you have long, long-lasting friendships here that need stability, need to have stability back in them. You may need to take a slow, practical approach you know think things through thoroughly cautiously baby steps maybe to bring stability back into friendships perhaps it could be also co-workers also so we have archangel raphael and we have the nine of swords so this is stress worry anxiety fear nervousness energy not sure what to do you know kind of energy so in archangel raphael can bring healing to you can help you heal, can help you uh, get over fear, nervousness, anxiety, stress, worrisome energies, uh, whatever they may be. If it's whatever's going on in your life, he can help you to heal and overcome that energy. And then we have comfort and we have strength. So this is being strong, courageous, and brave. And uh, knowing that you can have that comfort of friends, family, co-workers, your angel team, 
around you and that you have the strength within you to comfort yourself if you need to, to take pamper yourself sometimes. Just take care of you and uh, be strong, courageous, and brave here. Very strong-willed energy. And we have spread your wings, Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect, and you are ready to soar. So this is the Eight of Wands. So this is taking action, very fiery, passionate uh, communication, action, movement forward, uh, very fast-paced here. So something you're fiery, passionate about, excited about, um, and wanting to just, like, take action very quickly, and it's telling you to take that action with spread your wings. So that's confirmation of that whatever that means for you. And we have here, career transition, Archangel Chamiel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. And we have the Angel Delanui here. So this angel is the, um, I don't have my little book here, but I believe this is a very healing angel. She helps to bring light into your world. If you're feeling like there's a little bit of a dark time, you can't see clearly. Uh, she is the angel of the night. That's what Nui means, it means night. So she comes in when you feel darkness, when you feel gloomy, and she helps to bring light into your world, bring healing energy. So I feel like, and you know, in the night you can't really see clearly either. So if you can't see things clearly, and it's all about transformation also, because you see the butterflies there. So if you're not seeing like, if you're not seeing clearly about this career transition, I think the angel is here to say you, to say to you that um, it, it's, it could be a very transformational time for you because you got transition and I'm getting a transformation. So this angel is here to support you, to bring light onto the situation, to help you transition and transform this. And then we have brilliant idea, Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea into fruition we have the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is no, not really taking action, going in retreat mode. Um, just kind of thinking and contemplating and uh, not really doing anything here. So if you're thinking, you know, contemplating about an idea, your Archangel Uriel is telling you here it's brilliant and you need to act upon that because you have spread your wings, create a transition, and brilliant ideas. So that's all confirmation. If there's something new here, you've been thinking, contemplating, you, you're not sure, you're not sure. And what that Eight of Wands is telling you to, it's time to make this transformation, this transition, and just go for it. So we have Paradot here. Life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. So this is the Six of Wands. So this is success, victory, accomplishment. So you can succeed in breaking free from reoccurring negative patterns and learning those lessons and then moving forward very successfully in life here. And if it is to towards a new career transition or something like that, I do see success and victory here. And that fiery, passionate energy again with the wands. So we have smoky quartz, clearing negativity, release negativity from within or around you. So that could be people, places, things, anything that is no longer serving you. We have the two of cups. So only being aligned what it, what is truly peaceful, happiness, and joys to you, loving, compassionate energy. So the Two of Cups is usually about unity, you know, people coming together, but I'm getting, you know, just clearing negative energy and only having the energy around that is aligned with you and who you are and what you feel is your peace, your harmony, your happiness and joy. And the people that you see eye to eye with, that you are in a loving energy with, uh, you know, a good vibration with. So we have Sugalite here, your own divine power, own your divine power, replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is being stable, secure, and grounded, um, independent. Um, it's about structure and values. This could be a motherly figure also. So if you're someone who's very motherly, you take care of everybody, you never say no. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is very caring, nurturing, and giving, you know, kind of energy. But sometimes you may need to say no and stand your ground also. 
and own your divine power as much as you want to care and nurture for everybody and everything. Sometimes you just uh, have to invest in yourself with the Queen of Pentacles energy and know your value and your own worth. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for you, Capricorn. So we have the Knight of Cups. This is moving forward with love, compassion, peace, harmony kind of energy. Temperance, balancing your energies out, having patience, healing energy. And I just dropped my card. Yeah, death ending of old ways, ending burdensome energy here with the Ten of Wands. And then having brand new lease on life, a new stability in your life, growth, expansion, a firmer foundation to build upon for the future and being more uh, secure and structured. After you let go of burden, burdensome energies no longer serving you and ending those energies and transforming and healing and balancing your energy, patience kind of energy also. And I dropped the page of the Knight of Cups will enable you to move forward in a more loving, caring, compassionate energy. All right, so Capricorn, whatever your question is, whatever you're thinking about, whatever you just need advice or guidance on, let's see what we get here for you. Capricorn from the Angel Answers, see if we can answer your question. Just take it as it comes, pertaining to Capricorn at this time. Spirit, please, can we get one Angel Team card for Capricorn, Angel Team, in regards to what's on their mind. So it's telling you to remain positive here. So whatever you're doing here, just remain positive and don't stop at the bottom of the deck. So don't stop and remain positive. All right, Capricorn, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings and always, always shine your light.